Hi everyone, welcome back to my video. So today I just wanted to discuss uh, some performance issues which I am facing with the current BIOS that is in beta stage. As you can see the BIOS version is MB1. So it's the latest BIOS in my motherboard MSI B450M Pro VDH. And currently I am using it with uh, AMD uh, Ryzen 5 3600. As well as uh, it's installed with 16 GB of uh, DDR4 3000 mAh memory but uh, currently the DRAM frequency is 2133 so I just wanted to discuss with you people about the performance difference which I am getting by changing the memory and all so first thing first if I am enabling game boost it is still not working it is still the same thing as soon as I enable it and then restart my system it will just uh, reboot and uh, continuously reboot the, uh, the system it won't work at all thereafter you have to clear the CMOS and then only I can reboot with the but default settings so as you can see the current settings are at default the CPU frequency is at 3600 and the RAM frequency is at 2133 MHz I have not enabled XMP profile and one more thing which I wanted to mention here was the XMP profile is not working as of now so that is the reason I have kept it disabled uh, currently, uh, usually I use the XMP, pro XMP profile with uh, 3000 MHz CL16 settings so that you can check it out from here uh, in the memory try it thing. So this is the setting, 29, uh, one more setting comes, basically it is not there because this is a beta BIOS so uh, less memory timing options are available as of now. So these are the default settings and the only thing means all the settings are at default settings so let's check out what is the score so for the benchmark purpose I will be running Cinebench R20 because it's like the fastest way which I in which I can benchmark and then get to know the speed at which my system is currently working at so let's get into it. Now as you can see my uh, currently everything is at default setting um, I am running the RAM at uh, CL15 2133 speed and the CPU is boosting at around 41, 41, 25 the max boost speed is uh, for 4.2 GHz as you can see here so we will be running a quick Cinebench score and we will be setting a base benchmark like this is the base score this is the part which I wanted to talk about with you people. So the currently the Cinebench is running and as you can see the core clocks and the voltages are running at around 1.3 volts and the clock frequency is settled down to around 3.9, 3.925 gigahertz. The CPU utilization is 100% and uh, as you can see the temperature is uh, Okay, -ish if you consider the fact that I'm living in a very hot, humid climate region, so the Cinebench score is almost complete. So this is the base benchmark score for my system. For all settings set to default, like the CPU is set to 3.6 base clock and the RAM is also set to 2133 CL15. So this is the base score. Now, as I told you that the XMP profile is not working, so that's the reason I am going with the CPU uh, overclock thing. Means basically I'll be manually overclocking and so I just want to know how much the motherboard can uh, sustain the C overclock so we are back in the BIOS and the only thing which I will be changing is the CPU let's set the CPU ratio to 
yeah let's say 3.9 gigahertz or let's say we go for 4 gigahertz directly yeah that will be cool and yeah we'll just leave the cpu core voltage at auto and now let's see how much we get the cinebench score Alright, so as you can see that we have booted up and the system is currently running at 4 gigahertz. And uh, here are the voltages. I really don't know why does this happen every time I try to overclock or undervolt. I didn't touch the voltages part but the, see, but the motherboard always sets it to 1.1 volt. And all the cores are staying at a stable 4 gigahertz as of now for the temperature part you can see we are idling at around 40 50 45 50 see so let's check our cinebench score last time we had scored some 34 something so let's see if we can cross the 3500 or at least we can touch the 3500 score. So the Cinebench score is running. Yep, the clocks are at 4 gigahertz. The temps are 72.9, Let's wait for some time and let's settle down the temperature as to we'll get to know how much the temperature is exactly then now there is a problem along with this setup like currently my setup has one in and one out one out configuration of the cpu fan of the case fan actually sorry so case fan setting is at one in one out so and this is creating a lot of heat actually inside the system okay so we got a bsod here let's just go with 3.9 gigahertz and let's see if it is stable or not at that so the 4 gigahertz resulted in a system crash so that's why I, this time i'm going with 3.9 let's see if it works Actually, I have tested out my CPU and it turns out to be that the maximum boost it can, this board can provide to the CPU is at 3.9 GHz itself. And that's basically I believe is because of this air cooler which I have installed. So if you want to go for full all core overclock then I would recommend an AIO, a basic 120 meter millimeter AIO would do the stuff all right so let's see if 3.9 gigahertz doesn't land up in a system crash all right we are at 3.9 gigahertz everything set to default the Cinebench scores and along with that I'll just check with the temperatures okay Cinebench score is running and uh, as you can see we are at 1.075 volts all cores at 3.9 gigahertz
basically we were looking at around 82 83 degrees c when we were running it at stock settings and uh, along with that it was auto uh, the voltages were set to auto as well now the voltages are not crossing that 1.1 volt mark i guess that is the reason why the temperatures are this slow so as event is almost complete okay so we scored a 34.53 point in our multi core benchmark so basically there is i don't think there is a difference here when going from default settings to and custom overclock of 3.9 gigahertz but the fact that the temps have gone quite low is a remarkable thing to notice and uh, for my system i am currently running it at 3.9 gigahertz until and unless i change my mobo or i just over upgrade my cpu cooler so that's it guys thank you guys for watching this video if you like the video please do like and subscribe to my channel also let me know in the comments below which motherboard are you using for your ryzen 5 3600 if you are having it or if you are having any other motherboard or if you want to want me to overclock it or do some other stuff also the fact that i have not changed the ppt the value in uh, bios it is set to auto so basically the fa it is running currently at 88 watts and not 65 watts i don't think the 88 auto thing and the 65 watt thing will matter a lot but it it's it depends it depends upon the scenario and the situation and sometimes the test scenarios as well that you might get a better score than this and this one is most probably this the score is basically not crossing the 3500 point score may i i believe it's because of the early sample which i am having it because uh, when when the ryzen 30, 5 3600 was launched here in india for the very first day means on the second day i just go, went and got the unit got this unit so previously in uh, hardware info it was showing it as uh, engineering sample when i updated the hardware info from then onwards it is now showing as production unit so i think there is some some issue as usual with the previous ryzen series processors there is some issue with the early adoption thing so hope you guys like the video and i'll see you in the next video